Hello there and welcome to the new Tableau tutorial for visualizing data. And you must be wondering what is going over here. There is a lot of traffic situation over here on the screen and that basically the topic for the today. So what we have today is the traffic data, uh, which is a very, very small data. And I have picked up this data just to show you some of the regular visualization and innovative visualization that you can see. So we will start with understanding what is this data some of its component which is very straightforward and then first we will start with regular visualizations then we will move on to some innovation visualization just so that we have a good representation of the data for small data set like this which i will going to show you in a second okay so here is the data set and as you can see it just has the 10 rows and uh, four columns that's it and sometimes we have a situation like this where we have this small data set like this one and we really wonder how do we going to visualize this because some of the things which comes in the mind is like the bar chart that is something which is related to the comparison of the categories well yeah that works fine for situation of uh, this where you want to compare in which city or in which country you are spending your time a lot in the traffic and as you can see it just has the one year information that means you cannot use line chart or anything over here so how we can visualize this you know different ways based on the characteristics of this data and uh, put something into an innovation visualization i will show you uh, which will probably help you when you are dealing with this type of data all right so let's move on to the tableau so here we are within the tableau and what I'm going to do is clicking on the Microsoft Excel and what do I have is the hours spent in the congestion into the European cities. Now this can be any other city if we want to scale this up something like you know we can have uh, if, if from any data source we can have the entire world's data or maybe each city data in a particular country because right now what you see it has just one country net kingdom then a france switzerland germany so a very small list of company and from that itself it has just paid some cities information so if we want to scale this up we can scale like anything on top of that if we would have the we would have had this um, year information like over the past 10 years we could have done so much more with this but no worries let's start with this and see how we can go so very first thing which comes into the mind when we do the comparison of categories is basically looking at uh, the hours spent in the congestion and the recommendation is because we have the geographic data the recommendation is creating the chart like which is a map chart so once you click on the map chart it gives us the information about the uh, about the chart and one thing i would uh, suggest to you is looking at the data because if i go back over here this is hours spent in a germany and over here the aggregation is sum now for this sort of visualization sum is not the right aggregation why because if you see over here you have for united kingdom one row but for germany you have three rows which has equal values 44 44 44 so if we have to do a comparison between the united kingdom and germany it has to be an average similarly if you see germany is present over here so it should be average and it should not be some so make sure whenever you are producing the visualization you are choosing the right so the way you are going to do that is from here this drop down you will come to the measure and you will change this to average and as soon as we choose change it to the average you will clearly see that united kingdom and france is basically leading the way and we can make it more apparent by increasing the size a little bit so over here clearly uh, united kingdom as average hour 74 followed by france um, then in finland and in norway you know these are the different countries in which uh, in which you have the situation of traffic congestion. so that's one type of chart that we can produce another chart type of chart is uh, for example for each city we can compare using the categories and over here if you see i will just put it in the entire view and now we will just sort it for a better understanding so over here again you know you have london but it is the sum of hours so what i'll do is um so now it, it doesn't really matter if i change it to sum and average sum or average why well 
think about it by pausing this video for a moment and then come back. The reason for this is because the lowest level of granularity is city. So if we go over here, this is the lowest level of granularity. That means this has the unique values which is present for each value that is in the column hours spent. And that is why irrespective of whether we choose sum, whether we choose average, nothing will going to change. So that's one thing that we can do. We can also color code this information by putting the hours spent on the color where clearly you will see that value which is having higher is, is being colored. But that doesn't make a lot of change or a lot of, uh, you know, problem at uh, situation like you know want to highlight but scenarios like those where you want to clearly highlight the first two or maybe the London in that case then it becomes useful so in that case what you can do is go into the color click on the added color make it a stepped color and re reduce these steps in that case now rest of the categories is basically this light blue and this is a dark blue if you may want to increase just put the uh, highest value over there. Like for example, you want to highlight only the London in this case. You can actually play around with this advanced. And within the advanced, you have these options like starting and ending. So let's say we want to start. So if I just check, probably it, sh it is around uh, 68 or 69. So maybe we can say 70 over here and we choose apply and click OK. So in this case, now only London is being highlighted if that is what we want uh, from this visualization. So that's another way by which you may have seen various uh, people have high, is, is basically highlighting uh, the most uh, the most deviated or most uh, used or the dimension which is where in this case most hours spent. So that's another thing. Um, third way of doing the visualization by picking the city again hours in spend hours spent in congestion and you have the visualization which is uh, you have these tree map another way of doing the category wise comparison but over here if you show if you basically observe it does not tell you a lot of information. I mean, it obviously uh, mentioned that London is the highest one. Stuttgart is the lowest one, but does not reveal a lot of significant insight as each square in these three cases sounds looks like same. In these three cases, it looks like same. So not much of a visually appealing. So what we can do when we have the small data set like this, to make it more and more visually appealing. Well, in that case, I will show you one last visualization, which I think is uh, is slightly innovative and useful uh, when we are doing a comparison like this or when we are trying to compare the categories just to basically understand uh, how this, this basically is working. So for that, what I'll do is I will put the countries, let's say in columns and put the city over here. All right. Now, once we have this, uh, what we can do is just so that it clearly presented here. Yeah, we have I just extended it then uh, the width. Um, now, what we have over here is basically different types of charts. So what I'll do is pick the Gantt chart. Now, Gantt chart. Why? Because uh, I'll show you in a minute. And for that, next thing I will do is for Gantt. I will have to choose a length and as you could see uh, from the previous coloring category it was ranging between 44 to somewhere close to 80. So maybe what I'll do is I will put the name as length and call it average 40. You can have it some 40 doesn't really matter. I'm just choosing it average 40 over here and I'll put the average over here on the length. So now you see it is fully it has fully occupied wherever the value has been appearing or the ABC was there earlier. And I will make it thin size over here. All right. So what do I have over here is basically a scale, a scale on which I can plot the value of each hour spent in congestion for the better comparison. And it will look really amazing. So just wait with me for, for this visualization. So for this, what I'll do is uh, I have this aggregated length and I will put here 
as the sum of hours spent. So once we have this, what I will do is I will uh, first remove sum of hours spent from the aggregated length and from Gantt I will change this to a circle. And what I'll do is I will increase the size of the circle. So now what do we have is basically this line and the circle and then I will put it a dual axis over here. So once I choose the dual axis, you will see that slightly a lot of interesting thing is happening. So one thing is uh, your circle is on top of the line and clearly you can identify over here in this case uh, the Munich is uh, the one in the country Germany which is having the highest one. So from the earlier visualization it was not very clear right but in this visualization it is pretty much apparent and in case of Switzerland it's pretty much same and clearly in case of United Kingdom we are we are leading the way uh, with the with the traffic congestion time spent. The next thing I will do is right click over here and uh, click on synchronize access and I will right click again and uncheck the show header and if you see the the bar is basically starting from 40 because I have chosen 40 over there. The reason for that is so that any any observation which is close to 40 should present along with it is going all the way up till 80. Uh, by default based on the range that Gantt has selected and that's why we are able to see that in case of 74 we are it is at the extreme right. So the next thing what I'll do is to make it a little bit more interactive is by going into the edit axis and I will uncheck the include zero. So this will basically going to help me to start the visualization from 40 and go all the way up till 80 and then produce these beautiful visualization. Now this length is being repetitive so what I'll do is right click and click on uncheck show header. Also we can make it like the entire full view and we can make this Gantt little bit thin if this is uh, you know giving us a little bit of problem in terms of seeing it from the visualization perspective. Other thing which I will do it to make it more useful or more uh, clean is right clicking on the sheet and click on format. From these lines, I will go into the columns and remove the grid line. So now these lines are also removed, right? Um, the next thing I may do is to make it more meaningful is uh, coming over here and increase the size a little bit. So if you see the size I am increasing is this much is I guess good because it shows that some length is over there and I can even see it is a big circle. Now what I can do is from the hour spent I can put it on the label. So now the label is present over here and from here by going into the label from the alignment I can choose center. So now it is inside the circle and then I will from the font I will choose the tableau bold which I like because uh, it clearly conveys the information which we are trying to show and I will put it the white color and that way it clearly shows if I go into the presentation mode the various different categories across the countries and their respective cities do the comparison for the country as well as for each city you can basically see how well they are um, how how much time they are spending in the in their respective country or in their respective city in the, in the traffic congestion. So clearly France with the 69 and United Kingdom is leading the way and that's why they are on the far right and uh, for rest of the category they are on the left side. So that is mainly I wanted to show you that uh, the visualization that you can create with the help of a little bit of innovation and uh, with the tableau that, that it can do and produce the information from you. Now the other thing which you may want to do is um, if you don't want country but if you just want to compare the cities if your scenario is like this you can always remove this and what it gives you uh, sort of for entire lines and for each city you can you can do a comparison on a single scale. So up to us how much innovation or how much uh, you know uh, visualization capabilities we may want to check for this but this I think uh, gives reveals a lot of amazing information which looks stunningly good. 
when you will present it in the in your report or dashboard but as i said uh, this is a very simple data you can make it complex uh, and we can have something like if, if there are multiple cities multiple countries then we can have a filter over here which which you know going to show us the information as we want to see that but that's mainly i wanted to show you about uh, how you can work with a simple data set like this and produce a visualization which helps you um, which helps you understand your data better. So now I'll meet you some other visualization uh, topic and with some other mini project just to understand how we can visualize it better, the given data.